everyone welcome back to my channel happy january 2020 i can't believe that 2019 has flew by so quick but we are in a new year of budgeting and goals i do want to apologize for the last one month or from november going into december i was pretty mia there was some family things going on and finally i uh, feel that i have the ability to come back to youtube and start making my budget and couponing videos again but beside the point i hope everyone had a lovely um 2019 celebration with family friends and loved ones but for this video i specifically wanted to go over my january budget this year i have a lot of um, goals to achieve um, not just financially but more like lifestyle goals so i feel like this little planner here um, this is more aimed towards your financial goals and in, in my little bullet journal, I have written down all of my lifestyle goals. So going into the budget, uh, my monthly goals for my budget this month is pretty much to start off where I left off in December. So I'm going to be completely honest. For December, I did not meet a lot of my goals. I was slacking on my budgeting and just tracking my expenses. There was a whole bunch of things going on and it was just prioritizing time. I did, however, continue to use my cash envelopes. So I didn't nudge on that, but it's just tracking the whole expenses. This month, this year, my goal is just to be 100% consistent. So moving on in to the monthly goals. First, I need to fill out what month and year we're in. And my first goal is to reach 1,300 subbies. My next goal is to definitely track all expenses. I also have a, another goal of building my savings at the credit union. So putting at least $250 into the credit union. And my last goal is to definitely stick to eating lunch and breakfast at home or bringing it to work. So do not spend food money at work. So that is my biggest goals for this month. So financially and just YouTube lifestyle wise. For my checklist, I do have a few things that I need to get done. So I have to get my car service. That's actually going to be on the 4th. Um, I still need to close my super saver account. The reason why I'm doing this is I have it at one bank and then I have another bank that actually yields a higher interest in savings. So why not just move all that money over? It is a local credit union. Um, I'm also going to save all of my coins. So save and roll all of my coins. And then I'm also going to, let's see what else do I have to do. I have to track expenses weekly. So even though I have that monthly goal, I still need to put that down as my checklist. So, so far that is my checklist. Next up is upcoming purchases. I really don't have any upcoming purchases. I don't foresee myself actually doing this within the month. 
um, maybe within the next two months, but I need to get a new bed. The bed that I've had in my room, I've had that ever since I was in like first grade and my great grandpa actually bought it for me and I think it's time for an upgrade um, just because I'm older and I need a new bed honestly. My back has been so sore lately and over the last month as well, I've started going to the chiropractor. It feels so much better. I was in so much pain before Thanksgiving. So those are my upcoming purchases. For my upcoming bills, so upcoming bills really doesn't change. We have the association, that's on the first, and they already took that money out because I write checks for the association bill. Um, and then we have cell phone, that's due on the third. We also have the phone and internet. And we do not have the best internet connection. Um, and it's pretty super slow, but there's like really nothing else we can do except for getting like fiber. And in case of a storm, my dad doesn't want to get like just the fiber because the phone lines isn't going to work. I know a lot of people, they no longer have a house phone, but we still do. And Hardly anyone ever calls it, but we still have it. Um, the next thing is car insurance. And I have good news to report. So a few months ago, um, my car was actually hit while I was working and we had to get it. Um, well, I had to go through my insurance to get it fixed. And this past month, I got my $500 deductible back, which is a plus. I put that money straight back in to my savings account to save it for something else in the future. Um, something like that kind of instance. So it's really good to have an emergency savings fund. And then the last upcoming bill is car payment, which is due on the 31st. So for the 31st, um, it, ha it has to be paid by the state, but I'll usually go to the bank the weekend before to pay for it just to have myself assured that it's going to get done. Now, moving down for my income, this is going to be my regular, regular job right now. I only work my um, 40 hour a week job. Hopefully in the near future, I can get my YouTube channel to be monetized. I'm really close, but this past month has slowed me down quite a bit. So that is a definite goal that I should set for myself to just get those watch hours and put out more content, lifestyle, budgeting, and couponing videos. And then for savings, um, so I'm going to have my... Just credit union credit union and whatever is stuck in that super saver ac account is going to go right into credit union i'm going to keep these two um, categories here just personal moving on in to my monthly budget so monthly budget pretty much isn't going to be changing um i just added a few things here and there because the new year is rolling around so we have mothers and fathers day and i'm still gonna save for christmas so last year i actually saved um i didn't save the whole year for christmas but i did save a majority of the year for christmas but this year it's just i'm just gonna keep that category there so first we have our variable expenses so that's groceries and then in order to speed this video up, because it's probably going to take a really long time, I'm just going to write down the categories um, before we continue. So these up here, two, four, six, these six categories up here, this is kept with me at all times. So I have little inserts in my wallet that I make 
that I can have my actual wallet and then my categories there. Um, and then these right here, yard to the car payment is actually my fixed expenses that I pay in cash from Association to European Wax Center. And these are also fixed expenses um, that I pay with my debit card. European Wax Center is actually one of those things that I'll pay for four or five months out of the year and that will pay for all of my wax passes uh, for the entire year. So um, I believe in about two months, this category will be going away. And then from birthdays all the way till Christmas, those are considered my sinking funds or savings for the future. Going back up, we'll just fill in the budget for each category. So this is going to get 150. Um, fun is going to be getting 100. And I do need to let you guys know I have really revamped this only because on December 30th, my boyfriend was driving me to work and we just came up with the idea to go on vacation in April. So we figured why not? So I had to do a lot of shifting numbers to make sure that we could definitely save for that April vacation. We actually already had some savings from our previous vacation, which we were gonna roll into another vacation at the end of this year but we feel that we are young, we don't have any kids, so why not take the opportunity to just go ahead and travel or go to even the happiest place on earth. And yes, we are gonna be going back to Disneyland. We absolutely love it there. So fun used to get like $150 a month, but now I just brought it down to 100, only because I wanna save as much money as possible. We already purchased our plane tickets and now I'm looking in to the accommodations as well as Disney tickets and we may be getting a rental car. So more budgeting for that to come later. Next is beauty. So beauty is going to get $40. Personal care gets $25. Entertainment is going to get $30. And then eating out is going to get $100. And honestly, if we are not going to be going out or having like entertainment, going to the movies or something, I will be rolling those two categories in to the vacation fund. Usually what's gonna happen is we try to split it down the middle. My boyfriend is really kind and he said, don't worry about it, you know, we'll do this. Whatever money I have is what you have. And then I was like, okay, well, I still want to contribute to our vacation. So I'm going to be really, really keeping strict on my budget. The next category is yard. So that's $60. Cell phone is 95. This is going to be going down very soon. I believe I only have two months left to pay for my cell phone. And then that's going to be a relief because the cell phone is about like $33, same amount as the iWatch pretty much. So that's 33. So I'm just sw switching out the cell phone payment for my iWatch. Uh, my car payment, it is supposed to be about $342.13, but I just disregard that number. My goal every month is to pay $600 and why not? My income allows me to do so, and I still have money for savings. For association, this is going to be going up to $97. Phone and internet is $75.97. Car insurance, $73.34. Gas, I'm allowing myself $60. For gas, I do not use cash. I will use my city credit card from Costco. You get 4% cash back, and I think it's totally worth it to um, build up your credit and especially helping to just teach you how to maintain your money, use your credit card, spend it, I mean, and then pay it off. So that's what I usually do. If I'm going to be using my credit card on a purchase that I actually have a cash envelope category for 
and I have all of that money and I know, hey, you know, on travel, we're going to get back, I think it's 2 or 3%, 3%. Why not book all of the travel on there and then just pay it off with my cash after? So that's a way to really reap the benefits of having a credit card. I'm not saying everyone should have a credit card, but for my personal self and my boyfriend, it does work out because we are so strict on what we spend our money on and we're very on it about paying the credit card at the end of the month so no interest is incurred. European Wax Center is $139. And then now in to the sinking funds, so $20 for birthdays, $20 for occasions, we're going to do $30 for car maintenance. Like I said previously, I have a warranty on my car. These um, months that I have been contributing to car maintenance is a just in case fund. I should also probably rename that. To, to not only car maintenance, but anything to do with the car, that is the category that I'm going to put money in. For travel this month, or yes, for travel this month, we're going to be saving $400. Medical and health is going to get $80. Mother's and Father's Day is going to get $20. And Christmas is going to get $40. So Mother's and Father's Day, pretty much I only buy for my mom and my dad, as well as my auntie, Glory, and Uncle Matthew. They're like my second parents. So we got to get a head start on that because by the time we know it, May and June is going to be here and I don't want to be looking for money elsewhere. Back to the travel, $400. Like I said, we're going on vacation in the end of April. So we should have more than enough money. And this is just my portion that I'm saving. My boyfriend, he has his own saving um, mechanism for vacation. In all of these totals, let's see where they are. So in all, total comes out to... $2,278.31. $2,278.31. And that is pretty much the monthly budget. As we go on through the month, I promise that I will definitely, I guess, audit January 2020 to help us out. Um, but I'll be putting the actual difference and then just showing what we did for January 2020. In the near future, I will be putting out my cash envelope video, um, but we don't get paid until next week, which is kind of a relief. Now we're going to go back in to the two paychecks a month. Last month I had three paychecks and it just threw everything off. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for sticking with me and being patient. You guys have a great day, evening, night, weekend, whenever you're watching. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.